Hey guys, so here we are at it again. I showed you my idea for a flying police car and I've accomplished quite a bit in uh, meeting or realizing that original idea design. So <clears throat> I didn't uh, paint it all, I prime it all because I wanted to show you uh, some of the parts I used. So this was that Camaro police car, so I turned it around, uh, modified the front and the back, and I haven't finished the grill or uh, the lighting, um, but I have used part of the front for the, uh, like the air dam underneath, and uh, stole the uh, light bar from that other uh, cop car and uh, then these uh, of course are a couple of bottle tops from medicine this is the crystal light container top and these are those twist off things for kids squeeze applesauce what's cool about that uh, using this is you, if you glue the center of it you can still turn it and I think that's cool um, I won't show you every single little part I used, uh, but this was an uh, electronic circuit board. Um, and this is, of course, the engine. This is the exhaust. Uh, this is the back. This hasn't been um, well, finished. You know, I just have the interesting tail lights. And so, one of my ideas, uh, as far as engineering design of a flying vehicle of course this is also a street going vehicle is to uh, have uh, signage signals turn signals and so forth that you can see from any angle even above you so I thought this idea these are the, the Camaro taillight lenses on light brights and the idea is to have these so they're out so you can see them from below if it's flying over you um, and then they are also mechanical uh, so if you're going right they go like this and if you're going left that one would go like that so the idea was uh, then there, there would be like a beam it's very obvious that you, you're going to be banking or turning, turning on the ground, banking in the air. So I thought that was a kind of a clever design. And also, um, I won't give all the secrets away, but let me turn 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 it over right now. And so also, I always thought, what about a flying police car if it's going over you? You need to know it's a police car. So besides having these uh, lights for just uh, telling you which way it's going, including stopping in midair and hovering, you have big gumball, old school looking lights that uh, if you look up and you see the, the police uh, vehicle come over you, you know it's a police vehicle. And I don't know if that's ever been addressed directly. So uh, here's some of the mods on the bottom. Again, I just started weathering. This is a cop car, so I thought I'd use copper, pun completely intended. You can see here where I'm gonna have to make some kind of covers to cover up the um, rear axle. So here gives you a better look of the lighting. I inserted these and super glued them with the the uh, activator spray which really makes your life a lot easier and uh, so this is going to be the next area and then I'll do some modification. You can see that this is the part of the uh, the front of the Camaro upside down. If you look you see the Camaro there that would be the headlights. So again turning something around turning something upside down putting it in the opposite place you would expect gives you the ability to make all sorts of cool design changes 
um, using existing found object stuff. And so all that is just from this Camaro. Like I said I stole a light bar from another car. And then this, of course, is that electronic uh, control panel. It had an L LED here for that uh, cassette radio the kids had from the 80s. So there, there's what you got so far. I'm um, going to obviously add a few more panels and weather it. But there's the cockpit area. So I hope you like that. A couple other things. Uh, I ordered online. Uh, I'll give you the seller. Uh, but uh, it was... Um, how much? Uh, 1999 for the dividers, which are not exactly what I expected, but close. And then uh, this this one here is uh, 20.98, and uh, it's you put it together. It's a little fiddly, uh, and you're kind of afraid you're going to break it, but it really does snap together tight once you get it lined up, and. Uh, then uh, it opens on the top, it has locks, and I'm going to use this as my temporary sorting thing in the basement when I read my comics, and then I'll transfer it up to the third floor where I have my comics stored. But it's a, a BCW product. I would recommend it, and it will cost you a fortune to do all your comics like this, but if you have like special, maybe CGC, uh, in the in the acrylic cases that you want to really protect you can also put a three by five card print off whatever comic series and so it's really cool you can check it out i think you'll like it and then i got this at lowe's there was a um a wire wire mesh uh temporary or movable uh shelving unit which had all this um curtain rod stuff and so I for 50 cents I got two curtain rods which of course expands so you end up with four nice metal tubes plus the ends which you could use for all sorts of things for a buck you can't beat that metal tubes easily cut for all sorts of applications so look look for stuff like that at, at Lowe's and Home Depot when they blow something out a lot of times they just continue a hold department type of uh, uh, thing like like they decide not to sell something anymore like window treatments or whatever that's where you really make a deal because they ain't just getting rid of it and so there you go um, one other weird thing um, oh by the way the reason <laughs> remember the last the thing I did put the camera in the desiccate uh, gel things for a day or so and it cleared that lens fog and internal lens fogging um, so I found this in the soil you know, one of the guys that used to live here was a rock hound and he collected geodes isn't that perfect perfectly round sphere that's cool and up in the eaves found this cool because we got some dry rot we're going to attend to Saturday I found this awesome uh, wasp or hornet uh, I don't know if it's a paper wasp, but look at the intricate patterns. It is actually like a work of art. It's very fragile, um, but it was up in the eaves underneath the, in, you know, the, where the wood had rotted. There was an opening, and they had made that. Huh? I don't know how long ago. It's, it's, it seems like it's been unoccupied for a long time. So that's what I got for you today. The next video, hopefully, this will be the completed. Um, futuristic flying Blade Runner-esque police vehicle. So, for SK File, that's me, subscribe. I'm out.